Today we're going to look at the snare drum, which we'll refer to simply as the snare. It's a mid-frequency sound, meaning it's not a low sounding drum element and it's not a high sounding drum element. It's been used in countless genres from country to jazz to modern trap music. Although it's been around for hundreds of years, for the last hundred or so years, it's been an important staple of whatever genres of music are popular at the time. And it's virtually been used in the same manner throughout. Stay tuned for more. Let's take a look at this project. It currently has no drums, so the first step is to create a new track and select Drum and Beats. Let's move to bar 11, which is where the chorus starts, and let's create a region. 11 to 12 is one bar, so 11 to the end of bar 14 would be four bars. Most of the regions that we'll create will be four bars long. Drag the bottom right corner of the region to resize it. I move the playhead to the end of bar 14 so that we can resize this region perfectly. Now in the Beatmaker pane below, scroll to bar 11 and let's get to work. Make sure that you're clicking on the snare grid, not the kick or the hi-hat. The rules for the snare for now are that the snare is only to be placed on the first part of beat two and four. So only the first part, not the E, and, or a uh, portion of the beat. So it goes on two and four. You can see the notes are shown in the region for bar 11. Let's do the same thing for bar 12, 13, and 14. Two, four. Bar 13, two, four. Two and four. The snare is known as the backbeat in music. It's a steady, pronounced rhythm that helps us keep proper musical timing, kind of like a metronome. So now that we've created our four bar snare region, we can right click on this, say copy or command C, and move over to the end of the song and paste that region, just so that we can use it as a building block later on, just like the building blocks in the drum arrangement project. Well, let's hear what this sounds like. So we're gonna move the playhead using the arrow keys to bar 11, and then we'll press play. There's this bar at the top called the cycle bar. It allows us to loop bars over and over again. Take a look. I'm going to click to turn it on. Currently it's eight bars right now. I'm going to click the end of it to drag it so that we make it four bars long. And then we can click the middle to reposition it and I'll reposition it at bar 11. This will allow me to hear the current section that we just worked on over and over again. So when I press play, I'll move the play head to bar 11. And I'm just gonna fast forward a little bit. You can see that it goes right back to the beginning at bar 11, over and over and over again. So this is a very useful tool and we'll be using it a lot. If you don't want it to loop, simply click on it again to turn it off. Let's talk about track colors. You'll notice that in all of my projects that I use a lot of different colors for the tracks. For drums, I always use this pinkish color. I would prefer red, but Soundtrap doesn't really have red. So if we go to the track header and click on these three dots, we can see color, and then we're gonna select this color. Let's also talk about track naming. So you can see that right now, the name of our track is called Vanilla, and that's the name of the drum kit that this track is from. If we double click right here, we can rename it to Snare. Speaking of drum kits, we can actually change the sound of the snare drum by going to this portion where it says Machines Vanilla, that's the name of the current drum kit, and clicking on this. 
And then it pops up this menu where we have a bunch of different options. So right now we're in the category of drums, in the subcategory of machines, and we've selected the drum kit called Vanilla. If we press this play button, it gives us a sample of what that drum kit sounds like. By default, it selects machines and vanilla as the drum kit, but we can select other kits. Under the kits category, we have more real snare drums. So if I select this one, you'll hear. And I can just play it on my keyboard. If I select clean red, that's what the snare sounds like there. And when we press play, so I'll turn cycle on, we can hear it change in real time. We have more electronic snares in the machines and process categories. So let's go there and check out some of them. And if I press the solo button, you can just hear this track by itself. So whenever you're creating a snare part, you should also make sure that you select a snare sound that you really like. That's very, very important when creating music. So that's it. I hope that helps.